Imagine this classic game scenario. You are nicely playing your city builder, but suddenly a siege elephant starts attacking your Colosseum. You have read the patch notes and you know that this is an Indian replacement for the siege ram. So you take a few of the closest villagers and throw with them at the elephant. They should take care of him easily, right? They destroy rams all the time. But what is this? The elephant does not even switch targets and your villagers are dying like flies. It must be the hip movements, you might think, as your Colosseum goes down. So what is really happening here? Let's see what this elephant truly is and how to get rid of it. While the siege elephant really replaces the ram for the Indian sifts, it's not a simple reskin. There are more differences than there are things that these two have in common, so maybe let's start with those. We'll be looking at the post-imperial units with all the upgrades in already. And yeah, let's look at it. Most importantly, both of these units are siege units. That means they are meant to focus on the buildings. They both fulfilled this role quite well. Rams having a bigger bonus damage, but elephants attacking faster, which results in them being virtually the same. Their movement speed is identical, though you can garrison units into the siege ram and boost it. That will make it perform better, both in movement speed and damage. You of course can't fit anyone inside an elephant. They both also have the same amount of HP and absolutely miserable melee armor, whilst carrying absolutely ridiculous pierce armor. The siege elephant lacks about 50 pierce armor behind the ram here, which actually makes him take damage from trebuchets. Ram can just ignore those and tank through it, not that this would be a very common situation. If you see anything running towards your trebuchets, you should probably pack and run. But this is also where their similarities end. To start with the differences, their costs are completely off. Siege Elephant focuses on food, whereas Rams mostly cost wood. Together with the gold, of course. The Siege Elephant is not only a siege unit, but also considered a cavalry. That means it can also be upgraded by upgrades in Stable and Blacksmith. This raises their regular attack from 4 up to 8, and melee armor to 1, so they are not in the negatives anymore. The elephant also does splash damage, which is something that the siege ram does as well, but that one is limited only to damaging buildings. The elephant damages everything around it. The splash damage combined with the blacksmith upgrades makes it surprisingly capable of defending against a lot of weak units. If you're playing as the Gurjaras with 20% faster attacking elephants, you can take 8 villagers at once and win. Another benefit that this unit has over the ram is its automatic target selection. It will seek out any units nearby and attack them automatically, which is something that you need to do manually with the ram after every kill. I was also curious about the patrol and attack move. If you patrol your rams into the middle of the enemy town, they will ignore any units and focus only on the buildings. If you do the same with the siege elephant, it will focus on whatever is first. A janissary? As good as a building, the elephant doesn't care. It will still prefer buildings if they're close enough, but won't be shy for some meat beforehand. So, okay, right now you have an archer immune, bloodthirsty elephant charging at your town. What can you do? Well, you might want to convert the beast, that usually works well with other elephants, right? Well, not with this one. For some reason, the monk has to literally whisper his religion to the elephant from melee range, giving him plenty of time to defend himself from the old man. You might want to try sending your own siege rams against them, they get bonus damage against siege and should do well, right? But no, the elephant gets more damage out. So what would work? Um, actually, any decent melee units will do. Champion, Obuch, Light Cavalry, Knight. But the best are probably Halberdiers, who get insane amount of bonus damage against them since the elephants are also considered cavalry. With similar logic, I would assume that the Mameluk and the Genoese crossbowmen would do great as well. While Mameluks are not terrible, their cavalry bonus damage seems to disappear, and the Genoese crossbow just deal one damage, like regular archers. I guess that they grew to liking with their elephant friends a bit too much. Attacking any other elephants, the bonus is back. So I don't really know uh, the logic behind this. The Magyar Hussar works really well against the Siege Elephant because for some reason they kept their bonus damage against Siege. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't understand why some are excluded and some not. The Elephant is a rather slow moving unit, so you can also hit them with Onagers, but don't let them get too close. And how do these Elephants compare to the rest of the family? Well, uh, not great. They lose against the Battle Elephant and get absolutely stomped by the War Elephant as well. 
but that makes sense, since those units are actually designed to fight other units and not buildings. Siege Elephant is an interesting mix of a Siege Ram and a Battle Elephant, taking something from the both. It should definitely be given extra attention. You will need preferably Halberdiers or other melee units to take care of this monster. And that will be it for me today. Come check out some other analysis that I did. And see ya!